is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling problems out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great day, a great week, and a great month. September 2nd. Watch out, baby. Holy cow. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you are learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 89, NASDAQ is up 7, S&P is up 8, gold contract down $4.60, trading at 18 dollars 40 Silver up tw down 29 cents, 23 dollars 93 cents an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck 32, 69 dollars 90 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up two ticks, trading 133.16. The 30-year is up six at 163.14, and we have the 10-year right now, folks, yielding 1.29. And King Dollar, King Dollar down 218 ticks, 92 to Euro 118. Yen 109.98 and the British pound at 138 to 1 the US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you got a higher high. We got a contraction of volume. Bottom line, uh, you know, <laughs> we'll see where this shakes out. The contraction of volume is a monster today, too, by the way, folks. Okay. So last high that we hit out here, you had 48 million, which is light volume. We're not even going to do that today, and we're going to take it out. So the real question is going to be inside of the uh, SPY. Yesterday, we failed on volume and price on the, on the SPY. Uh, today, it looks like we're going to do the same thing, because 453.07 is the number that we have to close above. We got above that, which is 454.05. We're going to have lighter volume, and that's what we call a failure on price and failure on volume. volume. And what that is, folks, is this is it. You get over the highs, you close under the highs, you can't hold price, and you have lighter volume. Inside the NDX 100, let's take a look at the NDX 100. What happened with the NDX yesterday was that we failed on price, but not volume. What we have out here today, uh, bottom line is that we're at 19 million, and it looks like we're gonna, we are going to fail on price. Yeah, we're going to fail on price. We still might get the volume. If you get uh, right now, you're at 19 million. If we get 27 million, that'll be a failure. That would be just a failure on price. If we get less than 27.2 million, that's a failure on price as well as volume. Gold. Gold contract is building cause for higher price. We're on an ABC structure on the way up. Right now, gold bat is backing down $4.60. No big deal. You get 108,000 contracts. Gold is in a confirmed ABC structure up with a price projection of 1894.60. Oil. You're going to love this, man. I'm telling you, inflation's here, folks. Okay? So, Oil contract here, we took out the B point. Let's pull this up. Let's get this in there so you can see how this baby is. Okay, so what you have here is this. Swing point from Monday uh, was $69.64, and we had uh, 361,000 contracts traded. Well, we're already at 374,000 contracts traded, so you get an ABC structure on the way up. Pretty cool, too. I mean, this is a big one. 69.64 is your B point. And 
Uh, so we're talking what? Uh, eight, eight bucks, approximately eight bucks. Uh, Sixty-seven twelve is the C point. So that gives you what? Seventy-three twelve in the high out there. Seventy-four seventy-seven. That's telling me it's going to go right for the high. That's the, that's how this baby shakes out. Notes and bonds. Now <laughs> this is the ever ready bunny man. This is something else. And we'll see how this baby shakes out uh, tomorrow. But the bottom line is that you get a sideways move out here today. You don't have a lot of volume. You only get 771,000. So it's not telling us much right now in the note and bond market. It is holding price. King dollar. King dollar is not holding price, OK? King dollar broke its uptrend. With, with the uptrend that we broke, we broke it with conviction, finally. Bottom line is that what you have with king dollar is that king dollar right now is trading down 220. You're at 92, 230. Your first swing point that it's going to go into is the 92, 174. Okay, so that is, uh, what do we got? Uh, well, that's, that's almost a whole, that's a penny uh, plus 100 ticks. Every 100 ticks is a penny on, on the dollar. That's how this works, folks. Bottom line, my take, King Doll is going down to the end of its, the lower end of the consolidation, which is that 89, 535 number. That's how that baby shuts up. GDX. So let's go take a look at the GDX out here inside the gold market. GDX backing down with light volume. Nice setup. Only you're down three pennies. You got 11 million shares traded. You're going against 43 million. That's what you like to see, folks, uh, if you're looking for higher price. We go take a look at uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Strength out here. Match.com is up 6%. You got Walgreens Boots up 2.4%. Mercado Libre is up 2.3, and you got Dollar Tree up 2.3. Taken away from it. Autodesk down 5.7%. Pendor Do is up off 3.9%. You got uh, oh, Rally Automotive uh, down 2.9%. That's very unusual. Let's stay, let me go over to here. Good old O'Reilly. This thing's been going up forever. Okay, so let's see. We got the low for the year is 424. The high is 621. And what is going on with this out here? Let's see. Not quite sure. They're just they're selling it off a bit today. Uh, that being, well, they're selling it off a real bit today. Oh, look at this. Okay, so O'Reilly Automotive, man, you're at 575. This wants to go to 560. 560, the last time we had any volume on the way up. This is a break, and this is a break with volume. And if you want to see, folks, how these high volume lows are high volume highs, it works the same way. When they stick out like a sore thumb, just pay attention to them. I mean, this thing was sticking out, it had a high volume low. That was generated at 579. That was generated on the uh, 29th of July. It gets higher. And guess what? My, the bottom line is that this baby, oh, this is cool too. So not only that, this, now I talk about markets being subtle, and, and I think they give you a lot more information when they are. Look at this right here. Someone unloaded this two days ago. You can see you were going lower, re, very small price spread, but look at that expansion of volume. Bottom line, you get the expansion of volume, someone is unloading this baby, and this thing uh, wants to go lower, which, let me tell you something, man, we're, we're going to be in a correction. Um, what you have is that uh, O'Reilly Automotive, folks, okay, always seems to be a strong stock. Dow Industrials right now up 88, NASDAQ is up 7, S&P is up 7.5. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TASS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now at 91. You get the Nasdaq up 18. S&Ps are up uh, nine and a half. We get a question about uh, Newmont moving higher, the GDX uh, being flat. You know, uh, yeah, someone's, you know, Newmont's up 67 cents. Um, there's more buyers than sellers. I mean, that, that's what this comes down to. Now, it's light volume, but what does happen is that Newmont, folks, as well as Barrick, when larger funds are getting into it, it's going to be the first one that they get into. That's what it comes down to. So, I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, you're only up 68 cents. That's nothing. I wouldn't say that that's divergence, by the way, uh, because the rest of these stocks uh, are basically flat. Okay? They, they, they pull back a little, but realistically, they look to me like they're really flat more than anything. Um, they, can, they can drift uh, lower pretty quickly. There's, there's no two ways about that. Uh, we got another question. Uh, let's see. I've never seen this equity. So um, what this is, Gold Royalty uh, brought out, bought out another company, and one of the Tigers has this uh, company uh, right now. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so the symbol is uh, G-R-O-Y, okay? They're claiming that the company holds net smelter return royalties, but yet when I pull up the numbers on it, they, there's zero numbers. So um, <laughs> I, I let me pull this up just quick. Price target range, HC. Um, okay, so they don't take in any money. That's the real bottom line. Um, you know. You're trading out. What, what, what I don't quite get on this deal um, is, the, is this, is that when you have a, a royalty company, folks, okay, the bottom line is that you're taking in a revenue gross. And you can see when I pull this up, the zero revenue, you know. Um, so my opinion is that I, I would find out uh, what is going on with it, why the revenue is not there. I mean, if they, if they have contracts in place. So what would end up happening is this. Let's picture that if, if, well, here, I can do this again. One second. I can do GR. Let me see when this was put together, this, this whole company. So issue info. Okay, so it's brand new. It was put out March 1st of this year. At five dollars, you're at four thirty-eight. 
THDC. Let's see who owns it. That'll help. Okay, so I, w I would just find out what deals that they, they actually got into and when they're going to have revenue because it's pretty intense that you get a, you get an exploration company. Uh, they're saying they're not an exploration company. They're saying that they're a royalty company, but there's no revenue uh, right there. So that says quite a bit. Um, the VIX, let's talk about the VIX. What the question is is that uh, where the, does the VIX go or uh, how high does the VIX have to get in order for a pullback? What happens with the VIX, folks, is this, is that, number one, that's a great question, okay, but this is what happens with the VIX. The VIX already moves when the market's down. I mean, it's, it's just a correlation. If the market goes down 300 points, okay, the Dow is down 300, 400 points, the VIX is going to go up. That, that's how it goes. The VIX does not go up first, and then the market goes down. That's not how it works. It's, 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 it's just the opposite. The market goes down, the VIX goes up. That's how it works out. Um, I am gold. Let's go take a look at IAG. Uh, the low of IAG is uh, 219. The high is 424. That's $4.24. We take this. We put this on a couple-year weekly. I wouldn't bite on this just yet. This is a tricky stock. Now, I, I've traded the stock a lot, and what what happens with the stock is this. When you get it right, it, it's really cool, but it's a really tricky stock to trade, man. Uh, and I think it has to do with their jurisdiction. Let me look at this for a second. South, yeah. Okay, so they're in West Africa. Now, so, so any gold stock, folks, that is in West Africa, Ghana, okay, awesome deal. Totally awesome deal. The reason being, that still has the least expensive gold in the whole world by a huge amount, not a small amount, by a huge amount, okay? Um, and let me just tell you how crazy this is, okay? In Ghana, this, this, is how, this is how amazing this actually is, is that when the rains come in, right, they can do this every day. Now, this will blow your mind, okay? What happens is that when the rains come in, what the, this wouldn't be the big companies. This would be small. This could be like me and you. Uh, bottom line is that we're, we don't supposed to go out there and dig gold, but we're digging gold because we want money. This is how dramatic it is, and this is how much gold there is actually there. You go out to the river, right, and you push the river, and you make another stream down the river. Well, what happens is that, as that's coming down, that thing is pushing gold all around those streams, okay? That's how much gold there is in West Africa. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. So the average price all in of getting gold out of the ground in West Africa for public companies, okay, is 250 bucks. That, that, that's unheard of. Everything else, folks, is, is running around 1000 to 1100 So, um, you know, the... IAG, if we go back to IAG, um, that jurisdiction is pretty cool. Um, what, what does happen and has been happening in the uh, Congo, okay, which is still West our Democratic Congo, I believe that's the, the correct name, that's been a problem. Uh, the reason that's been a problem is they have tax implications. That government there has been holding money from certain companies saying, okay, you owe us more money. And the monies that they're holding, folks, get like to be a half billion dollars in some companies. They, they're right now on um, Ashante. Ashante, they're holding uh, $544 million, okay? Now, at some point, I expect it's going to get straightened out. But the bottom line is that there is a political risk there. That's, that's how that works also. So, um, you know, as to IAG right now, I'd really wait for a nice sign of strength, uh, which we don't, which we haven't had yet. Uh, you get a sign of strength, and let me just put this on a monthly for a second. See if we get a high volume high. What do we have out here? Okay, so yeah, I'd be careful. It looks to me like this actually can hit the buck forty-four first. Now, yeah, that that's you can see that that volume is sticking out, man. That's that's how that's uh, shaking out. So. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Google, let's go over to Google. Google is shaking off the deal 
uh, about, you know, Google's down $27, but that's nothing uh, in the context of, you know, bottom line, uh, they're going to have another antitrust inquiry, and that's going to accelerate. And, you know, I, I expect that the, the, the Google deal, it's not going to destroy their business, that's for sure, because the business is so lucrative, there's so much money in it. But there's no doubt that they have a stranglehold on advertising, um, and there'll be something that comes down in the next four or five years. Gold, uh, gold. Uh, Dow is up 70, NASDAQ is up four, S&P's up six. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 74. You get the NASDAQ up 7. S&Ps are uh, up 6. So let's go take a look at the composite and see where we are in the composite here. So the composite... Okay, so you got, just got an inside day in the composite. We got up to uh, 15,380. Uh, we are at 15,315. And this would have to get below uh, 288, 15,288, which I don't see that doing uh, in order to basically have a failure in price and volume. Now, what does get intriguing here is this, is that the way that this is like, set, the way it's set up, you get two days, that you've given up price both days at highs, 
And we're going to have the jobs number tomorrow at 830. If this gaps down tomorrow, then, <laughs> then you got a little island top that's uh, sitting up there. And, uh, you know, the bottom line is that island tops are saying that you also are beginning a, a correction. We go into Google, I mean, uh, Amazon. Amazon right now is backing down with light volume. Amazon uh, got up into its gap. Hasn't closed the whole gap yet. That's 36, 37. We got the 35, 27. But you're backing down. You are backing down with uh, light volume. Microsoft, let's take a look at Microsoft. Okay, so Microsoft is backing down with light volume. That's probably going at the 296 and right now we are at 320 I believe it's 320 yeah it's, I don't know three hundred dollars and sixty two cents Netflix NFLX we take a look at Netflix Netflix is trading at 589 now if you take a look at Netflix this is really cool this is a, this is another high volume high folks that was sticking out there, bottom line, finally gets hit. Let's put this up in a weekly so you can kind of see it more clearly or daily. And you'll see that baby was sticking out like a sore thumb. I mean, there it is right there. The thing that's amazing, this, this, so this is what also happens. So you had a high volume high at 593, okay? That high volume high was July of 2021. We come all the way back down. Well, here, just, let's see, two months ago, you were at 507. So it's like, okay, when you see a high volume high and you're, you're down at these levels and the high volume high is 90 bucks away from it, what, hap what I've seen is this. You really don't know, folks, when it's going to go after the high volume high or the high volume low. What does happen, though, as soon as you see a stock that's starting to move and it has a high volume high, that's when you really want to pay attention to it. Now, in Netflix's case, you would definitely pay attention to it on August 19th, because on August 19th, you got a sign of strength. The sign of strength was wide price spread accelerated volume. That's what we got. It continued. Bottom line, now you've taken out that high, and I think it's going to be on light. Well, yeah, it's going to be on tremendously lighter volume. So this is a little problem child, too. So did it do at the end of the month? Let's see. So on a monthly basis, yeah. This is probably going to be a failure. So watch this. This is, this is sad for Netflix. <laughs> so your first high on a monthly basis, 575. You did 232 million shares. That was July of 20. We got up there. We tested it in January of 21. So you tested it six months later. You had 140 million shares. So the correlation is 140 million versus... 232. You had a failure in price, failure in volume. What ends up happening? The stock goes from 593 down to 475. Okay. Now, we're back up here again. We, we're going into that high with only 54 million shares versus the 140. And what you want to take into consideration here is this. I take all three of these. That's what I do. And say, okay, is the market getting stronger or is the market getting weaker? And you can see quite clearly the first time you were up, you were up with 232 million. Second time you were up, you were up with 140 million. You came into it with 54 million. Now, what that tells me is that at the end of this month, we will close below 593, and what will end up happening is it will be back down to the lower end of this consolidation. That's kind of how that's shaken out. So when you're putting these together, you know, I, I tend to look at as many stocks as you can look at that you think move a lot, right? And then when they've finished what they planned on doing or what you'd speculate they were going to do, and just like in Netflix case, okay, and also so Netflix case, we look at Microsoft, Microsoft has a high volume low, okay. Then you, if you, my, my take right now is that we are going to the lower end of this consolidation. That just builds up more information for you folks, okay, so that your theory, okay, is either will either be more solid or it won't be. So let's picture this. And now let me just do the, the opposite of that. That I would say that, okay, the bottom line is that I think it's going to be a consolidation to get out of the bottom. Well, you can see what happened. Now this happened, thank God this happened, like, I don't know, four or five months ago now. Yeah, that was that long at least. What had happened? I thought we were going to 
going to be a correction, but guess what? Because of the cues are going to be in an ABC structure in the way up, well, guess what? You, that just changes the whole deal. So what ends up happening is that it gives you a nice correlation. Now, even though that I thought that, okay, this could come down, what end up happening, as soon as that NDX 100 and those chip stocks start doing ABC structures on the way up, it's almost impossible for the market to come down because the NDX 100 drives the market higher and drives the market lower. That's just kind of how um, the, whole, the whole deal goes. The, the, the growth stocks, the momentum stocks are like as heavy as you can get. Uh, Bitcoin. Let's go take a look at Bitcoin out here. This is pretty amazing, man. There's no doubt. It's like, man, oh, man. I mean, you talk about volatility. Bitcoin, I believe, went over 50,000 again today. Yeah, it hit, it hit 50,000. It's picking its head up uh, 50,373. The last high was 50,612, 512. And more than likely, you know, you're coming into a Labor Day weekend and I can imagine that uh, they can keep running Bitcoin because what does happen with, with the whole digital world, meaning the coin world, on the weekends, those things can not only move, uh, you get a lot of these people that like trading them over the weekend and, and it'll move in an extraordinary way. The way Bitcoin is set up right now, it does, it, you, you go up another thousand uh, dollars in Bitcoin, you're gonna go up a lot higher because you're at the top of the consolidation and, you know, you take out this consolidation. We've been in this consolidation for about, um, yeah, about a full month. You take out the consolidation, and, like, Bitcoin will be trading at 56000 again, which is just amazing. I mean, it's just, well, it's amazing to me because I, I can't grab it. I can't, I can't, I can't get my head, head, hands or head around, around the deal. And it doesn't, it doesn't that doesn't mean it freaking thing. If you're trading it, that's awesome. You, you, you get an understanding of like which way it's going to go, God bless you, man. <laughs> that's the bottom line. Uh, Euro. Let's go take a look at the Euro because what we do have is that this good old dollar wants to go south. So the Euro, there she goes. She's going, she's going uh, north. Uh, next swing point, the Euro is 119. We're at 118.75. And if we blow through this tomorrow, it's going to be big action because it's going to say that the euro is going to go to 122. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials down 42. NASDAQ is flat. S&P's off four and a half. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 51. NASDAQ is up 9. S&P is up uh, 6.5. Uh, I want to stay with Bitcoin for a second because I know I, I don't think a lot of tigers or tigresses are trading Bitcoin in the futures market, but they are in the equity market. And one of the um, equities they're using is grayscale, you know, uh, Bitcoin. It's GBTC. Now, We've seen this go from a premium plus to a minus premium. So what happens is this, folks, okay? The shares, uh, bottom line of Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, okay, supposed to trade in the aspect of the, these, these folks buy Bitcoin. It's supposed to trade close to what the actual cost is, okay? Well, right now you're trading at a minus 12%, this is, okay? Now, that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is this, and this is where it's a monster heads up. If you are in this ETF, okay, it's not even an ETF, and that's what I want to talk about in a second. You want to be really careful, and this is why. So what's going on inside the Bitcoin market right now, meaning that the what's in front of the SEC in order to get okayed uh, is an additional competing uh Bitcoin future. Now, this is a legit Bitcoin ETF future that expects that the SEC in the fourth quarter will say yes. Now, if they say yes to this, right, it's going to be a monster problem for Grayscale. The reason being is that the way Grayscale is set up, Grayscale is not an ETF. It's not a, let's see, it's a structured grantor trust. And that's a, that's, that's a problem because of the aspect that when they get competition, no one will trade this. Okay, so if no one trades this, well, no one, uh, I don't know that no one would trade it, but no, anyone in their right mind won't trade it because you're going to be able to try, trade the future ETF, which the future ETF, okay, will stay exactly where the Bitcoin is. Okay, so it's a, it's a monster heads up. You should Google it, okay, so that you can see uh, basically uh, where the SEC is on this right now um, and where they may go with it, okay? Uh, because the bottom line is that we're coming into the fourth quarter. The SEC is going to make a, a decision in the fourth quarter if, in fact, they're going to allow this future ETF to trade. And an ETF is totally different than the GBTC, which is, I just I said, uh, some kind of a trust, okay? And th now this is the kicker. The kicker is that the way that this is set up, they cannot change this to an ETF or anything else. That's what's really wild about this, meaning that they could, they'll, they'll lose a huge amount of business. That's the bottom line. And you can see, we've seen the aspect that, you know, this was trading at a 30% premium. Now it's minus 12%. You get the gist of it. I mean, you know, it's it's a vehicle. You know, we had got the question, um, I guess, last week sometime. Someone was asking me about the 
uh, ETF uh, that we were tra that not that we were trading, but in the oil market that it imploded. Well, that GBTC could very well do the same thing because of the way that it's structurally made. That's that's what it comes down to. It's not that you know no one's taking any money. It, it's just it's structurally it's not the the structure that you'd want it to be in order to trade at the same level of the Bitcoin. That's how it works. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at that silver market. What are you doing out here? Let's go see. So we're on December silver right now. You're down 29 cents. We're trading light volume, 35,000 contracts. You get an inside day. It's not telling us much. That's the bottom line. It's not telling us a thing. Let's go take a look at a few of the silver equities. We'll look at Hecla. Hecla right now, not bad. Okay, that's that's flat. That's pretty good. Okay, Pan American Silver, P A A S. That's flat too. That's okay. Let's go take a look at one of the highly volatile ones, which is uh, First Majestic. That rejected lower price at twelve sixty two. That's a good setup, man. Okay, and. This is even more volatile, which is Endeavor, EXK, and Endeavor's up. Okay, that's, that's not a bad setup. Let's, let's go to the SLV for a second. Just take a look at the SLV. The SLV is ETF rate. That's backing down with light volume. That, hey, that's, that's, that's not a bad setup. I mean, that, that, the way that is set up right there is that that is saying that uh, we could be coming into this jobs number tomorrow and really get some juice. You know, you can see out here today that we, well, actually, when I said a little bit earlier that we don't have divergence inside the, um, meaning Newmont is up and the GDX wasn't. Where divergence is, okay, well, the GDX is up 11 cents now. Where divergence is, as you can see, we're down 224 on the gold contract, but yet gold's down 360. I love it when that happens because when you take a look at the, the, the GDX, I mean, uh, the gold contract versus the dollar, you can see the dollar flat out, man, is not only down, you have the wide price spread uh, also. So let's go take a look at the British pound because we, we looked at the euro. The euro wants higher price. British pound's up 62 ticks. That's, oh, that's a, oh, oh, I wish we had volume on these currencies because that just took out a swing point. That's the British pound saying it wants to go to 139. You're at 138. And then, of course, the yen. The yen right now is trading at... 109.93. We haven't had much movement in this this week. No, not at all. Hey, we'll see what happens. Yesterday it gave up price at 110.42. You know, it's it hasn't broken uh, this consolidation that it's in. It, and you talk about a clean consolidation, man. I mean, watch this trend line. The cool thing about this is that any type of break, you know, you're going to see it quite clearly. Um, the trend line from the low there, we started out at 109.48. A break of the trend line is uh, 109,746. Well, 109,740. Is that right? Yeah, 109,740. And we're at 109.93. You know, and we haven't had a lot of movement in the yen. We go take a look at the Nikkei. Uh, Nikkei was up last night. And so the reason that you look at the Nikkei, folks, okay, um, if you get an idea, uh, the Nikkei goes out of its mind when the yen gets stronger. And so... We went up last night. I got the volumes. This is good. Okay, so the Nikkei in four days has gone from 27,400. Uh, so it's up 1,100 points in four days. And, yeah, man, it still can, it can still go high. 20, 28,850. It can still test. That's what it looks like. It's losing a little juice, but the actually buying hasn't been bad in there. So, you know, we'll see where that shakes out. Uh, I'm sure you saw, uh, if, if you haven't yet, Alibaba. Uh, you know, the bottom line is that these Chinese equities, okay, the bottom line, they're going to be paying up in a monster way. Uh, Alibaba come out today and said that, hey, listen, they're going to give out uh, $15.5 billion, and they pledged $15.5 billion for the common prosperity drive in China. Uh, guess what, folks? That's only the beginning. The bottom line is that uh, what I expect you're going to see in China, all this data, the Chinese government's going to take over all the data. They're going to basically shake these companies down on a continual basis. And here's the beginning of it, okay? The bottom line is that 15 point uh, something billion is going to get distributed, um, you know, instead of 
going back to shareholders. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 90, Nasdaq's down 11, and Nasdaq's up 11, S&P's up 9.5. So let's go over to SPY first, and uh, let's see if we're going to hold... I don't believe, I, I, it looks to me like the SPY is going to fail on price and volume again. You're up 86 cents. Yeah, you are. Because you'd have to close over 453.07. Uh, You're at 452.66. So that's the second day in a row that the SPY did fail on price and volume. We go into the NDX 100. That's not going to be a failure because never, you never even went to the highs. Um, you're under 380.76. You're 22 million. Yeah, that's just, that's just saying it's not holding price. See, what the difference here, folks, is this, is that the reason that it wouldn't be a failure on price and volume is that we would have had to get over the highs of yesterday for failure on price and volume, okay? Uh, now, you're backing down, and you're and on, the, on the queues, so check this out. This is pretty sick. On the queues, you're actually backing down, and you have light volume, you know, but we are under the strength of, of uh, Monday, which is saying that, yes, we'll, we'll come to lower price. So... It looks to me that no matter what this jobs number says tomorrow, that you are going to have a market that is uh, going south, which is really unusual coming into, um, well, we're in window dressing coming into um, a Labor Day weekend. Um, you know, the bottom line is that we'll see how this baby shakes out. I mean, we haven't had a correction in years, and uh, we'll see whether the market decides they want one. 
are, in fact, you go sideways for a bit, uh, and we're still dealing with inflationary numbers. That king dollar wants to go down to the 89 level. Oil's in an ABC structure on the way up now. Gold's in an ABC structure on the way up. Uh, that, is, that is flat out saying uh, that these prices uh, are not coming down. And you're, you're going to hear a new gold ad, folks. And um, the cool thing, when I was writing this ad, I was saying, okay, uh, do you want to pay attention to Chim and Powell? Do you want to which is saying transitory. Do you want to pay attention to Larry Summers, which is saying that, no, we're in inflation. The bottom line, what's so cool about where we're at right now, you only have to pay attention to yourself, folks, okay? Look around. That's all you have to do. Prices going up? Are they flat? Are they going down? Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Come on, get back here tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Go get them, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market.